Les lieux de culte chrétien sont comme une bulle d'oxygène pour Jimmy Durmaz. Every time I go into a church, I'm, I'm easy, I'm calm, I'm relaxed. Uh, all the stress in my head just disappears. Uh, I make a small prayer for, for, for my family, for everybody to be healthy. And uh, I always do it before the games. Uh, so it's very, very relaxed. Cette fois. L'attaquant toulousain né en Suède la puise dans son histoire personnelle. Un héritage dont il porte d'ailleurs les stigmates sur sa peau. This arm, it's a gladiator always fighting. Also a gladiator that are enter the arena to, to fight. It's this says Yulla, it's my mother's name. Sa mère, qui a fui la guerre au Liban, est sa source d'inspiration. Yeah, we are like Syrian Aramic people. My mother is born in Lebanon, Beirut, and my father is born in Turkey. And from there, they moved to Sweden when they were very young. And it's hard uh, because they were in the war. What they have been told, in, told me is that they knew of the sound of a bomb were closed to them or not. So they knew even if it was a bomb, but they knew it's far away. So they could still play outside. And when they heard that the sound coming closer, then everybody had to run in to, to take shelter. And it's scary because she could be dead. And all her family could be dead. And I think, like, it's... But she, they, they made it. They made it. She came to Sweden. She got me when she was 18 or 19. So, so she sacrificed all her life to raise me and my... My brothers, my father was always there, my mother was always there for me. So, so I'm very grateful for whatever they, they did. Par son passé, l'attaquant de 28 ans est forcément touché par l'actualité internationale. No, of course, it's not good. It's not about it's in Syria. It's a lot of countries that are, are in this war. And, uh, I cannot solve everything, but I can solve a little bit. When I was in Greece, uh, I went there to the camps uh, with the club to, to help the kids, to play football with them. Uh, I've done it in Sweden also uh, after that. I'm connected to it. My mother and my father was refugees when they came, so I can, uh, I can relate to, to them also. Of course, I still, uh, still feel for the humanity. There is a lot of good people. Probably I will be back on the field, train, do what I love. Uh, have one more game here to play in Nantes. After that, it's time for the national team. Most important month in my life so far. So, hoping for the best. 